Hey y'all, it's Reverend Joel here at the Presbyterian Church of Chestertown, and we're headed into Lent. It's Ash Wednesday, the first day of Lent, 40 days from now until we get to Easter, if you take out the Sundays. Sundays aren't included in the practice of Lent. In this season, we are walking with Jesus of Nazareth toward Jerusalem. We are aware that who, whoever this God is and whatever God wants with this creation in Jesus that comes among us in the flesh, and he teaches us how to live, he shows us how to live, he corrects us and scolds us and invites us to live a life worthy of the kingdom, one that looks like kingdom and feels like it to ourselves and one that shares kingdom to others. It's an interesting topic around Lent, but that's the point of who Jesus is and why he came. And this season of Lent is kind of a confession that when God shows us who God really is and how God really wants us to live, we are often violent in our rejection of that for the way we prefer things to be instead. I imagine even now you are aware of the violence on the other side of our world. I imagine you are quite aware of some of the ways violence is still present in our country and in our communities and our homes. There are other ways to do life with one another that are not violent. And yet, we continue to choose violence just like we did when Jesus showed us kingdom and God's own self and we nailed him to a cross and put him in a tomb. How many more young ones will we have to put into tombs? How many more will die rather than embrace the kingdom of truth and justice and peace? Today, as our great prayer, as we enter a season of Lent, I beg us all to not just pray for peace, but start trying to embody it ourselves and trying to stop rejecting it when it comes close. Peace can look so weak, but peace and truth and justice are God's kingdom. And that's our calling. Blessing, laughter, and loving be yours.